Hey parents, there's a popular old school myth going around about parenting and I gotta expose this crap. The problem is if you really believe this saying, well, that's gonna cause a lot of freaking problems. I think our parents must have really believed this and that's why we kind of like, kind of believe it. And it's just so sad because so many parents build their whole parenting on this saying. The saying is, I'm the parent, I gotta be strong for the kids. Dude, this is so not true. You see, we're human beings. We can't always be strong. And if you try to be, well, you're just faking it. It's not real, or you're just like self-medicating it away or something. Now, strong means going to work every day to make money, taking care of business, having self-control. Well then, yeah, okay, it's good to be strong for the kids. But let's be honest, that's not really what it means. We should try to make up a new saying. If I was in charge of making the new saying, it should probably sound something like this. Let's be wise, mature adults for the kids, but also let's be vulnerable. Let's humanize ourselves to our kids and let our kids see our feelings, our ups and our downs. Let's also be open-minded and confused. Let's let our kids know we don't have all the freaking answers. It's like a crazy, confusing world out there. And let's share that with our kids. Let's be strong, but let's also have the courage to be sad, scared, brokenhearted. Those are all normal, good things we all feel. We're freaking human beings. So yeah, we can be strong sometimes, but we are so much more than that, aren't we? So my fellow parents, let's not be like our parents. Let's be so much more than being strong for the freaking kids. Allow yourself to feel. Allow yourself to be human and let your kids see that in you. Hey, I'm Sean, the family coach. Gotta go to my cousin's wedding and thanks for letting me be a positive voice in your life.